What date exactly are we looking at for the burial? Ichiyoko? Yes. Don't you think Chidubem needs to be here before such question is asked? Yes, you are right, but this meeting was slated for 10 a.m. Look at time. It's not 10.30. Must we all sit down here idle waiting for him? Never. Uh, we are here for a reason. And we have to proceed. Exactly. So at any point in time he comes in, he joins us. Okay. Okay, in that case, Elibagman, what date do you have in mind that the better should take place? Uh, I am um, I am looking at the last Friday of this month. That is uh, exactly three weeks from now. Mm. Yes, three weeks time. Yes, it is my father's burial that we are talking about, and uh, I should be allowed to settle for a date that works for me. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Uh, my colleagues, my apologies. Please, uh, please, my. My sincere apology, because I had um, a serious situation with a client. As a matter of fact, it was quite critical, and they needed, you know, my attention. I couldn't leave, because eh? please, okay. my apologies. But I'm I'm here now. Uh, please, darling, thank you. No, you are welcome, Shidube. No problem. As a matter of fact, we just started the meeting, and the. Question is, when exactly are we looking at? That's the date we are looking at for the burial of your late father. But good enough, your brother has provided an answer. Why, if I may ask? Because I don't want him to participate in the planning of my father's burial. Oh. Udoka, the question remains, why? Provide why? an answer. Udoka. There is no way this man cannot be part of your father's burial plan. There is no way. Is your correct? Okay? The question I want to ask you: mm -hmm. Why in this world will he participate in the planning of the burial? Very simple. Very very simple. You know why? Because the person we are planning his burial is also his father. Exactly. Now I want us to settle this. I am the Onoshilobi in this family. In the burial we are talking about, I am the chief mourner. Should you be here, we will not participate in the planning of that burial. It is just as simple as that. Should you bend your brother? Should not participate in the burial of your late father. Ishi Okolo, as the Elibagwa of Umobogidi, I have all it takes to give my late father a befitting burial. I don't need to involve Shidubem. Having all the money in the world to give your late father a befitting burial is not the subject matter here. What is the subject matter here? Why are you insisting that he will not participate in any way as regards to your father's burial? Yes, Abila, I answered the question already. I don't know why you are still bringing it up. I say that I have all it takes to give my late father a befitting burial and even more. I don't need Chidubem to be involved in it in any way. The whole of your explanation has not answered our question. At all. You know what? Just give me one minute, I'll be right back. I can see trouble coming. I will must do something to stop it before it becomes too hard for us to handle. I will stop it. Uh, you're right to change the news. But he must first tell us his reason for not allowing his brother to participate in their father's burial. He has no option. No option that too. I need to go one and Yes. This is um, for you. Actually, I, I, I should have done this 
before the meeting started. Udoka. Is your color? What is this? Money. For what? Well, it is money from a good man. A good man to his woman now. So, whatever name you want to give it, you give it, but just take it. It, it is coming from a good heart. Yeah? You just insulted our personality, and I will never take it. I will not. And neither will I change the view of partaking this thing. What is going on? Is she okay? What's the problem? You see why I... I always maintain that shiftancy should not just be given to anybody. That we should look at people to know who we are giving any title. Look at how they are behaving. Walking out on a man like me is very wrong. Both of us are the people that are remaining here now. Can we go into the discussion? Because he can be a man. You are far better than them. How can we start planning the burial? So, you sure you win the case? Yes. I have enough evidence to prosecute the matter. Murder case is not just a simple one. I mean, the prosecuting counsel will go any length to send your client to jail. And that's why I'm doing everything possible to ensure he doesn't go to jail. But, what was he thinking? Why did he stop her? He said he did that in self-defense. Do you believe him? Of course I believe him, and that's why I'm defending him. Look, I'm going to give a credible account of myself in the case. Okay. All right then. Let's discuss something else. Your father-in-law's burial. How are you preparing? Uh, my dear, they haven't picked the dates yet. And until they pick a date, then the planning begins. Oh. I'm looking forward to see what your husband will do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's going to set this kingdom on fire. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I can't wait to see all this. He doesn't regard any other person. Well, I see him as a man who doesn't know what he's doing. And whatever he's planning is against our culture and it will not stand. To never stand. Hey, and we're in the margin. <laughs> 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 hey. Thank you. Mwana. The son of the soil. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey. Thank you very much. Oh dear good. Iche, you know what that you see, your brother just made a very wrong order. And if we allow that order to start. You be put to shame. I agree with you, my orders. But the question is, will you allow such order stand? Never. But everything depends on you. <laughs> Casey, how? 
I see war coming. And you must be prepared. That is the only way we will not allow whatever is planning to come to pass. I am equal to the task. We are the custodians of the tradition of Omo Bogidi. And what your brother is doing is against our tradition. And we will not allow it to stand. And it will be, a, it will be an abomination for you and your children unborn. Thank you. Thank you, good elders of our land. Thank you for always standing up for the truth. And always standing by me. Uh, I do not take it for granted. Uh, thank you so much. But I assure you that I am going to fight this like a man uh, and ensure that what he has declared does not see the light of the day. Thank you. Uh, and uh, not forgetting that I still have your account numbers. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> not on my phone. Yeah, thank you very much. I assure you that um, before Chianeji, before nightfall, uh, you shall smile. <laughs> you. Uh, you are forgetting to take your drink. Odogu! Hey, where are you? Hey! Yes! I got this uh, drink when I traveled to. Yes, uh, one of um, Thailand's um, finest. Udoka, you are running very, very fast in the wrong direction. And no matter how far you go, you never arrive at a desired destination. So I sincerely advise you to stop immediately. I don't know why you are standing this way. Mm -hmm. I have not done anything wrong. On the contrary, Udoka, you have done everything wrong. How? Let me tell you. One, you said your brother will not participate in the burial of your late father. Two, you offered money to the elders to take side. What were you thinking? Well, I am insisting that Shidubem will not participate in the preparation for my father's burial. Or oh, Mamme, it's not possible. Then on me giving money to the elders, I don't actually understand why that has become a problem. My father used to give money to the elders when he was alive. And they received the money happily. Why will it get to my turn now? And it becomes a problem. Well, Udoka, you are right when you say that uh, your father, when he was alive, used to give money to the elders. Father. And they accepted happily. Yes. Good. But let me tell you that yes, there's a difference. Your father did not give money to the elders to take side. Neither was he giving money to the elders when there were contentious issues on the table. Uh, well, if that is the way you see it, I am sorry. But I, I never meant it that way. Well, that apology goes to them, not me. I don't understand. No, no, are you possibly saying that I have to go and apologize to them? Exactly. No, it's your color. <laughs> you will know the kind of thing you will say now. Ah. I cannot do a thing like that. It's all right. Udoka, if you say so, no problem. But then, be rest assured that the woman will not fully participate in the burial of your late father. Yes, I don't need to remind you that you are the honorable OB of Chief Udoka Okenwa's family. Yes. So much responsibilities rest upon your shoulders to champion the cause of the family. Your father is no more. You are expected to do the right thing all the time. Uh, you of all people should not be the one saying this. Hmm? Of course, you know that I, you know that I've been doing my best. Well, 
It's all right. Udoka, no problem. But if you are not prepared to apologize, then be rest assured that things will remain the way they are. Are you leaving? These people are just there in me. I am the Onoshilobi of this family, like you said yourself. And now you expect me to go and apologize to people on the account of what I did in my OB. And then me, amen. That is not possible, and you know it cannot happen. I told you your brother hates you, but he saw it from the angle of me instigating you against your brother. But thank God his reactions today vindicated me. I'm sorry, my darling, but I disagree with you. My brother does not hate me. I have not done anything wrong to him. It baffles me how you sound this way. Do you need a prophet to tell you that your brother does not mean well for you? Can we drop this topic? No. Because your life is at stake here, and I am at the receiving end if anything bad happens to you. Nothing will happen to me. I know nothing will happen to you, but you need to put your brother at bay. If you allow him to come close to you, he may arm you. How many times have I told you, just how many times have I told you, that my brother is not going to harm me? Okay? He does not hate me. He cannot harm me. Please. <sighs> Babe, you need to start saying things from my own perspective. Please. Okay. Going forward, I'll begin to see things from your perspective. But can we at least drop this topic now? Yes, we will. But do you remember my encounter with your brother and father some months ago? I thought we were dropping the topic. You've had a lot of encounters with my late father and brother. Which of them are you talking about? The day I visited your father to discuss business law and how it affects businesses. My dear, you've thought so much about this entity concept in business. What is it all about? Um, Papa, entity concept in business yes. is a law that separates the business from its owner. This is what I call impossible. My business, my personal creation, my family business. How can you separate two of us? Uh, Papa, entity concept in business yes. represents every registered business as a person on its own that can stand on its own, operate on its own without undue interference from anyone. That's why they are separate entities. Okay. I think I'm understanding you very well now. Let me give you an example. My transport company is known as Okenwa Motors Limited. My personal name is Chief Okenwa Udoka. Yes, Papa. So, for example, Okenwa Motors Limited mm -hmm. can be sued while you, Chief Okenwa, isn't sued. Then, you, Chief Okenwa, can be sued mm. while Oking One Motors Limited isn't sued. That's because in entity concepts, the business is different from its owner. Okay, now I totally understand what you are explaining to me. But there's this bitter experience I had. One of my reckless drivers went and used my vehicle to kill somebody. And I was sued directly. Ah, uh, Papa, in that situation, it is possible. Very possible. Oh! I know you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my son. How are you? Fine. <laughs> I want her to leave. There's something I want to discuss with you. What? Papa, please tell him I am in the middle of a serious conversation with you. Who are you to advise this man to do anything? Do you actually know the man that is sitting down here? Of course I know him. He is my father-in-law. 
He is your father-in-law. Yes. And I'm telling you now that as the Oloshile will be, I want you to get out of this place because I have to discuss something with the Obue Fiego Malabba of Ubabogide. I don't understand. Papa, you're not saying anything. Please call him to order. This is Onochilo B himself. He can never be called to order before any woman. If ever I will call him to order, it will be when you've left us. Listen, eh? I don't, I don't know that your name, but I know who you are. But I'm giving you just 10 seconds to get out of this place before I will show you something that you will live the rest of your life fearing. Hey! Get out! You want to see me? Hey! Get out! Hey! Get out! Hey! Get out! Oh, we go I appreciate what you have just done. Yes. Telling her that to her face is mm. the best thing you have done. Mm. You know, it is always good to sort this young woman, sort them out in their very presence. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why I actually came for that. Happy, what is the problem? I don't know what I have done to Udo Kaili Bagwago that makes him treat me like a nobody. What did he do this time? His domineering attitude is becoming unbearable. Must he always exert his authority on me? You're yet to tell me what he did. I was in the middle of a conversation with Chief. All he did was to ask me out. I still don't get it. He came in and asked me to leave. Why? I don't know. What? And what did Chief say? Of course, you know Chief, he said nothing. No. No, 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 this is not happening. Why is Chief always taking side with Udoka? I don't know. He sees me as an enemy, especially my husband and I. I don't know what we've done wrong to him. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, Flora, please don't take it this far, okay? It's okay. I'll talk to Chief later, okay? It's fine. Please. Please, it's okay. Calm down. All right. Take care. Okay, calm down. Huh? Calm down, calm down. So that this does not bother you. Calm At down. At this I'm, point, I am not bothered. I am fed up with his overbearing attitude and it has to stop. Okay, now you're about to overreact, but just slow down. Slow down. Huh? Don't okay. tell me to calm down. Why does your brother hate us this much? Uh -uh. Why? Mm -mm -mm. Udoka does not hate us. Stop. <laughs> he does hey, not. You don't know what I am talking about. What I saw today from your brother and father is more than hatred. Why do they do this to us? Why do they hate us this much? Okay, listen, I don't know what transpired, but you see those two still run the family business, transport business. Very frustrating business, I must tell you. And sometimes I have a problem 
with the drivers, the managers, the mechanics, maintenance department, and all of that. Making returns can also be a problem. So just maybe look, I was having a bad day, but I would look into this, okay? You're not understanding what I'm saying at all. What I are you? said your brother walked in and asked me to leave in the middle of my discussion with Chief. I understand. And I expected your father to say or do something, but he did nothing about it. I'll do something. Okay, be calm. Eh? Buto, eh? calm down. Take it easy. Eh? Thank God I reported that to you. If not, it look like I'm trying to mess things up. Honey, please, just try to take it easy. That's all right. I've heard you. Okay. So, why did he ask you to leave? I don't know. He didn't say. That means he wants to bury his father alone. Fine. Let him go ahead and do it. Not to worry, I'm alive. That man was my father too. Hmm? So you want to go to war with your brother because of a burial? If that is what he wants, I'll give it to him. I promised my father. A befitting burial. And now is the right time to fulfill that promise. <sighs> the signs are not good. Let him bury your father with his dogs if that is what he wants. Babe, he has been looking for a way to attack you since your father was alive. But now the man is no more. He wants to build trouble so he will attack you. And I am back already. Listen, I ignored him today at the house because the elders were there. Out of respect for the elders, I decided to keep quiet. He tries it again. If Udoka tries it again, he's going to see a different side of me. Fine. Please, my love. You have to take things easy. You need to be very careful. You know, I actually, I kept quiet because the elders were there. If not, I would have done something very terrible to him. Mona, wait, so. Is it by force to participate in the burial arrangement? Or call it a burial arrangement? at this point, eh? It's very obvious that Brad Chidibem is looking for our trouble. And I want us to give it to him, Boto Boto. Oh, we are going to give him a basket full of trouble. Oh, yeah, he does not remember that. Oh, when I will come, bro. Forget fat, say we don't make money. Mm -hmm. I am still out, bro. I don't know if he is so. But, Dad, my anger is the fact that you didn't tell me he was here. As at the time he was here, I would have broken a bottle on his head to rearrange his brain. I, I, I'm sorry that I didn't, but uh, next time I will inform you. He needs that bottle. He did say. Daddy, can I ask you a question, please? Go ahead. Why don't you want Uncle Chutubem to participate in Grandpa's burial? What kind of useless hotel is that? I don't understand. Uh, uh, where is this coming from? What will Chutubem be doing in the burial? Is it money? I have all the money to give my father. Your grandfather is befitting burial. What is Shudibem coming to do in the planning? I don't understand. Daddy, this man that you have referred to as your father is also Uncle Chutubem's father. So he has equal rights as you do to participate in the burial and every other thing concerning the funeral. You must be very stupid for saying that. You want him to participate in the burial arrangement so that by tomorrow, he showed us to be up high there that he buried his, his father, your grandfather. Are you mad? Mama, he fell. Are you for us again? What's wrong with you? Ella. Ella, what is your problem in this house? Why are you always against everything that you are doing in this house as a family? Why? That's because I want things to be done the right way. Right. Mrs. Perfect. Daddy, let me ask you again. Ha! Okay, put yourself now in Uncle Chutubem's shoes. If he now insists that you will not partake in your own father's burial, Daddy, how will you feel? It's thunder that will reply that question for you. 
It's thunder that will fire you. Listen, if you don't know what to say, you shut up your mouth or you get out of here. Every time you open your mouth, you, you, you spew nonsense. Do you know what? Ella, get out of this place. Get back home. Get out! I should get out! One more word from you, eh? And you will not like what I'm going to do. I said, get out of this place! Get out of this place! He said, come on, get out! Come on, get out! Grandpa will not be having a problem. Shut up, boy! Shut up! Why don't you go get your grandpa? You, you, you really need to, 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 to. Really need to want her. Sit her down and talk to her. Because if she gets on my nerves, I am going to do something that nobody will like. Hi! What is this? No, no, it's okay. Don't let her get at you. Ella, please. The signs were there. The signs were. Obviously there. So dad, how is business? Hmm. Find my son as usual. Very fine. So we no longer have cases of accidents with these trucks and um, the driver's inability to to make returns, you know, <laughs> when they should. My son, in this kind of business, you don't eliminate accident completely. What you do, you reduce it to the barest minimum. Mm. And we succeeded in doing that by employing careful human beings to work for us. And that did the magic. That is impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> uh, my son, there's something I want to let you know. In every business, there's always that secret, that special secret in that business. And no reasonable businessman will ever like to sell it out, no matter who's ever involved. <laughs> Daddy, you are your many theories, eh? <laughs> you always have your way with words. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good, you're welcome. <laughs> um, that's why my friends call me wise man. Or indeed, you are a wise man, Daddy. <laughs> you are a wise man. Good. Um, Dad, I, I don't know, something has been on my mind. Daddy, speaking of very successful businessmen, I attended a burial of a businessman that was very successful. And I was not impressed. Things didn't look good. My son, what happened? No food to eat. Drinks couldn't go around, and um, the information that we got was that this man was very wealthy, you know, but his children did not do right by him, Daddy. It was not nice. My son, it does happen. Can you do anything different? Of course, Daddy. <laughs> I'll not only do different, I, I'll do better. Yes. <laughs> I will do better. Uh, I'll do much much more than what I saw. That was, I dare say, very disrespectful. Daddy, um, it's not like we want you to leave us yet. We still want you here, and we want you alive. But when you have lived your life to the fullest and have joined our ancestors in peace, Daddy, I am going to give you a befitting burial. I am going to give you the biggest burial that Omar Bogiri have witnessed. Hmm? That is not to say you're living anytime soon. <laughs> okay, okay. That's good, my son. But on the other hand, I think what you should be doing now is to think how to make more money rather than thinking on how you are going to stop Omar Bogiri because of your father's burial. That delight did not be that your son is bragging, but I have made money. Uh, uh, your son is doing well. You know, I left the family business, not because I did not believe in the transport business, but I did not want to be caught in the web of young men who continue to contest over their father's wealth. Their father's wealth, not even their wealth. You know, I didn't want to fall into that bracket. You know, I didn't want to do a car and I, 
to begin to fight over who should get what and what. I, I find it, I find it very disgusting. I dare say. I, I see young men who fall into that category as very responsible and lazy, and so I decided to try my hands on something else. I came to you, and you blessed me. Remember, and so I took my destiny to Port Harcourt. Tried my hands on oil and gas, and Daddy, I can tell you that we are doing very well. As I sit down here with you, Daddy, I have started counting money in millions, hundreds of millions, and the company is still growing. So indeed, I have made money. <laughs> so when that time comes, <laughs> they will hear my name. <laughs> oh, that's very good, my friend. Thank you, Daddy. Um, from the word go in this family, I had always known that you are going to be a superstar. My son, you will never, never lack in this world you come. You say? Success will be your next name. You say? Favor will be your next name. You say? Progress and prosperity must follow you all the days of your life. You say? This I pray with other things that will follow. Dad. Thank the Almighty. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to discuss with you. Adobe, was that for me? Adobe, is that the best way to greet your uncle? And since when has greeting become by force? Jonia. <laughs> what has come over the both of you? Huh? What exactly is going on? Please, listen. Don't even think of shouting here. Because if you raise your voice, you will not like what will happen. Don't think of it. Adobe. So you're here. And you allowed your brother join these kids to start smoking this stupid and damaging substances that is smoke. Hey, Luca. Yeah, I get on my here. This is force, is it? Huh? So you have joined them to smoke these substances that they mix, that make them think that they are bigger than everything in the world. Hey, Luca. You are my nephew, and I'm going to advise you to stop now. Quit! Before you get yourself in trouble. I can see you don't have anything to say. Ngwa, leave. Are you talking to me like that, Adam? Do you realize that I am your uncle? And when you address me, you have to list it with a level of respect. <laughs> uncle. I should respect you. I guess I have a Leave. I say leave when I see my uncle. I will know. Now leave. Uh, and um, as you leave, make sure you don't sit anywhere to discuss about this family. Huh? Else it will be detrimental to you. You won't like it. Mwawa. Leave! It is very clear that something is fundamentally wrong with the both of you. I don't know what it is, huh? but I advise that you retrace your steps before you no longer can retrace your steps. Okay, Mr. Ebapo, I said leave here. Leave, my friend! 
Et tu es Mais Somebody cannot just use his tongue and, 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 and count his teeth. You see? Ah! Eliba Wawu! I get a warm. The signs were there. The signs were obviously there. But I was blinded by the love for family. The question is, what did I do wrong? Any right to tell me who my uncles are. Do you hear me? Anybody who must be respected as an uncle must first of all respect himself. What nonsense is that? Eloka. Huh? I don't have time for all this. You see all this your woo 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 in me? I don't have time for it. When you're done ranting, help yourself out of this compound. Get out! No, very soon you will have time for my. What is going on? Look, why are you here? Why are you shouting? Uh, I heard that you came to the house earlier. Hi. Look, look. The thing is, Adoroma. You see, that thing you're taking is not good for you. Do you not think that it is time you advise yourself to stop taking? Bad substances. You don't think so? Me? Me taking bad substances? Between you and I, who looks more like someone who takes bad substances? Yes! If not, what would take you out of your house to our house? What were you looking for there? Listen, I just came to warn you. You are not welcome in our house. Stop coming there. Simple. Stop! Hey, Loka. Who said you to this? Now tell me. You still ask very silly questions. Do I look like someone that they set up for anything? Huh? Listen, like I said, I just came to warn you. Don't ever come anywhere close to the house again. It's a warning. Uh, uh, hey, look. Hey, Kabobele, you're very young. A few things you do not understand. Let me make it very clear to you. The fact that I have made money and built this house does not remove the fact that I'm still a strong member of that family. I still belong to that family house. I still have a room there. Don't forget. <laughs> Is that what you deceive yourself with? Is that the lie you've been telling yourself? Listen, there is no room in that house for you. Let me, see, I don't want trouble. If you really want to fight, I came here with a trailer load of trouble to upload it on you. Can you, can you just shut up your mouth? What is wrong with you? Do you realize you're talking to your own? Hey, my friend, shut up! What is wrong with you? If I don't shut up, what will you do? No, if I don't leave this Listen, house, you what take will you this, do? Take this thing out of this place. What is wrong with you? Are you mad? Can you take this thing out? If I don't go, what will you do? 
No! You will sue me in the courts now. That is the only thing you can do. Charge and pay lawyer. Charge and pay lawyer that got married to a silly oil bunker. Listen to me. My father has a consortium of your type. Plenty. But it's back and call. One call, all of them will fall in. Okay, that's enough. Uh, hey, look, nobody's taking you to court, eh? Ika, Ika. You're still very little. Uh, taking you to court is a waste of my time. Um, please, you have enjoyed your drama. I don't know who sent you here. Please tell the person that we're not buying. Just go. Be go. Eh? Just go. I am not going. Until you tell me that you will not come to that house again. Until you tell me. I'm not going. If you don't say it, I'll piss you here. Nothing will happen. I said I'm not leaving. My own house. Come and fight me. I'm not going. Listen, I am not running, no. I am ready for this. Prepared for war. Anything. Please, please don't. He's a devil. This information is very bad. To myself, to my to avoid this grace. To my banana, to my dog, and to my demo. This information. You must start talking. About what? No, Mom, look. As it stands now, I'm so famished, I'm hungry. I don't have strength to talk. Oh, this is sumptuous meal prepared by you. <laughs> I just received a phone call from Barista Flora, your uncle's wife. And what has that charge and bill lawyer called to tell you that has made you square up to me like this, mom? Young man, stop making a whole lot of mistakes. Stop taking a fight to your uncle's house. What if the woman gets to hear it? Mom. What will you say? Mom. Please, Chidobem is not my uncle. And I find it as an insult to refer to him as my uncle. He's not. He doesn't deserve it. Young man, stop going to his house to confront him. Stop it. Why, why do I sense fear? Does he scare you? Just come out open and tell me that you are scared of him and his charge and bail lawyer of a wife. Come out open. You know your mother very well. You know I am not afraid of anybody. You have to be decent in your actions. Why is it not? Stop going to his house to fight him. They can easily kill you and claim they killed you in self-defense. Okay. Be guided in your actions. Okay, mom. I've heard you. Thank you for the motherly advice. Come on. Thank you. But first things first, like I said, I am hungry and I need a sumptuous meal. I'll ask them to serve you. Uh, prepared by you? I don't know. I don't like it when somebody has the floor to speak and they likes not to say anything. Daddy, I want to talk to you. And I'm telling you that the floor is yours already. So go ahead and speak. I want us to talk about Uncle Chidubem. You see what I mean? You know, does it mean you cannot use your brain? That name you just mentioned now is a name I don't want anybody to mention around me. I don't want to sit anywhere, and that name is the topic of discussion. I don't want that. How many times will I tell you this? Daddy, please. I beg in God's name, lend me your ears. Okay. Go ahead. What is it? Daddy, why the long, silent war between you and Uncle Chidubem? Listen, eh? You see that topic? That topic is way beyond you. And I don't want to discuss it. Can you stop? <sighs> okay, Daddy, I understand. But whatever it is, can you please try to resolve it? Uncle Chukubem is your brother, and both of you should not be quarreling. Ella, I do not have any problem with this young man. 
I don't have a problem with him. All I want is for him to stay away from my father's burial. That's all. Daddy, why are you silent on the fact that the burial we're talking about is also his father's burial? You know what? This is end of this discussion. I want you to leave. Daddy, we're not... I said get out! Daddy. We're going to Doctor. Daddy. 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 tell you that this is a lot to deal with so please I'd like to be left alone so that I can at least just think okay why do you feel to say the fact that there is battle ahead why my dear husband my darling wife I have eyes you know and I can see for myself what's going on no I don't think you can see anything would you trust your husband if he tells you that he sees what's going on and that he has this under control? Of course I trust my dear husband. But the wife is equally saying the truth. Declare them your enemy and I will stand by you all the way. No, my darling wife, I'll be the last man to declare my family enemy. You're postponing the evil day. What I have said is the only way you will discover the best way to follow them. I didn't see this coming, you know. My father never wanted this kind of disunity. Come on. What is wrong with me building my own house and moving out of the family's house? That's growth. We can't read meanings into everything. Now, come on. Uh, come on. He supported me. He prayed for me. It would be wicked of me to understand his supporters, this unity. No, that's not my father. That wasn't my father. What? Your brother hijacked everything right before your father. And he said nothing. Isn't that so? But I have never been interested in the family business. I have always wanted to do oil and gas. And my father at the time availed me all the contact, which I used, and I grew in business. Life has been good. Why should I be interested in the family wealth at this point? Can you reset yourself? Uh, please, can we just change the topic? I know that's the next thing you're going to say. Change the topic. Ella. My daddy will soon be here. All right. What about your mother? It's not been long she went out. Is there anything I can offer you? No, 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 no. Don't bother yourself. You're sure? I'm good. <laughs> okay, let me continue what I was doing. All right. All right, dear. Ah. <laughs> 
the <laughs> a very good evening. And how are you today? I'm very good. <laughs> Why? They have not offered you anything. No, 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 no. As I'm not brother. <laughs> Why? That I'm married does not change the fact that this is my house. Yeah. If I did anything, I know where to get. You win. <laughs> I don't want the trouble of, of Umada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that uh, this is your house. You know everywhere. Even the wine store, you know where it is. Uh, you can help yourself at any point in time. No problem. Yeah. You're welcome once more. Thank you. I learned that Chude Ben was at the family meeting for Papa's burial. And you walked him out. I don't get this. Uh, could this be the reason you left your husband's house to be here? I'm more interested why you walked him out. I walked him out because I don't want him to participate in the planning for the burial. Why? I don't understand why she's asking me why. I have told you that I do not want him to participate in the burial. I am able and capable of burying our father single-handedly. I don't want you to be able to contribute anything. Even your husband, you may tell him that I don't want him to contribute. We will handle it. Udoka. Udoka, you're making a very big mistake. Chitupem is our brother. And he must participate in Papa's burial. Now, I want you to understand something. That I do not want the trouble of Omada. It's on the condition that Omada should not want my own trouble. This is my burial. I am the Onoshilo B of this family. And I am telling you that I have decided how our father should be buried. This is a decision that everybody must respect. I shall come point again. Udoka. Have a nice day. Who is dragging your position with you? Udoka, are you working out on me? Allow me to bury Papa Money to you. You might jack everything. No, 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 no. So, why did he say you're not participating in Papa's area? I don't know. Did you call him? No. Did you go with him to the next travel? I was with him. All day that they were together. As a matter of fact, I was with Papa when Papa died. Unfortunately, it is sad. You know, the, 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 he, he was coughing seriously, and and Udoka had to run to the family doctor to get some drugs. Typical of Papa. He refused. He wasn't going to go to the hospital. So Udoka was doing all the running around, and I was with him until, you know. face like that. What happened? Yes, Uncle. What is the problem? Is everything alright with Grandpa? What, what is, is going on? That Please is talk to us. That is normal. What? 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 What, what, what do you mean that Grandpa is gone? That is dead. I tried, I tried. After you left, you know, the, the, the cough the cough continued, it became severe. I, I I got confused. I didn't know what to do. I, but I know I tried to to save him, but he gave up. Thank you. 
She didn't I brought you here. Because I need us to talk. I want to know what happened. Between the time I left you with our father to go to the hospital to bring his medicine and the time I came back. What happened? I don't understand. I mean, he was okay when I left. Yes, but all I told you was all that happened. Yeah, he was very okay when I left. Very okay. He was talking. But I came back and I met him dead. How do we... Uh, uh, no, no, no. Hold on. Look. Are you implying what I'm thinking? No. Are you, are you insinuating that I killed our father? Is that what you're saying? Unconfirmed yet. You know, let me tell you something. A man as elevated as Ubuwe Fiego Malaboba of Umobogiri is not the kind of man they will have to expose to the radical of autopsy. Because when that happens, even small nurses who are not qualified to see his remains will see the remains and they will make a whole mockery of him. And I wouldn't want to do that. But if you force me to go for autopsy, I will do that. It becomes publicly monitored. Look, and why are you doing this? Well, why? What well, have I done to you? Why? Why? You know me. I am your brother. Why? Even if you see someone that has my likeness in your dream killing Papa, would you wake up and believe it and accuse me? Mama? That is the reason I brought you here for you to tell me what happened. You have brought me here to read it. Hi! Ha! But yeah, we are still brothers. After everything, you can still talk to me. I will not insult you. I will not be pushed to insult you. Therefore, I am not going to carry on with this conversation. Thank you. Even as he tries to hide it, I can still see there is something he is hiding. Papa was so sick. I'm happy you know about this. I was honestly embarrassed by that question today. Why would he think so? Call him later tonight. See if I can talk some sense into him. Well, he would have to come to that um, reality sooner or later. How's your family, by the way? <laughs> We're fine. And your husband? Is he in the country? No, but I was coming to Germany yesterday. I don't have business tree. Anachia. Anachia. She's fine. She stepped out not too long ago. Oh, she is, and she's not finding it funny. I wonder why he will refuse his brother from participating in the burial plan. Seriously, me, I don't know why you. I don't know, to be honest. I see war between those brothers. 
But I know the bell will never agree to stay away from that barrier. And Ilibia Guago will never allow me to come close. And what is Chief's wife saying about this whole thing? Hmm. That woman, that woman traveled now. And I little learned that she's not coming back this weekend. So, who do you think she will stand with? Seriously, eh? that woman is guided by reason. And I see no doubt that she will stand with Chidubem or whatever. I don't know. Chidubem is the right person to stand with. Yes, because it will be of a great injustice if they sideline him from the barrier arrangement. My friend, that one is their problem. Let us stand and watch them. That one is their business. Because this one is too much. Let's go. Hey, let us sit and watch them. Let's go. This one is much. I'm happy with Because why not? They want to bury their father. They should leave his cause at the much. Hey, that is their business. Because this one is more. Why is this guy eat very rice? Ah, sister. Oh, you want more, Jiggy? Hello, you're here. Huh? <laughs> Does your father know that you are here? No, he doesn't know. Uh, I hope he does not harass you for coming to my house. Uh, no, he wouldn't. Uncle, let's discuss why I'm here. Oh, okay. I learned that my father said she will not participate in grandpa's burial. That's what he said. Did he say why? No, he did not say why. Are you going to back out from the burial plan? <laughs> no, I'm not going to back out. That's good. I mean, it's time someone placed my father where he belongs. Thank you, Ella, for your contribution, but uh, I do not plan on challenging anyone. It's not my style. If you do not challenge my father and force him to stop, he's going to gather unbelievable support from all these corrupt elders and the men of the vigilante, all to stop you. You know, I promised our father when he was alive a befitting burial. That is exactly what I'm going to do. Uncle, okay, okay, how are you going to do that when my father, the troublemaker, is standing on the way? Can I ask you a favor? Yes, Uncle. Can you help me find out why your father? keeps insisting that I will not participate in our father's burial. I'd like to know. You see, I have a lot of things coming to mind as it is, but I would, um, I'd like to work with specifics, you know, that way I know how to strategize. Oh no, that's, that's fair enough. You've tried already. I didn't know you already asked. <laughs> it's not like it's in your place to um, have that kind of talk with him. I'll handle this. Well, I'm here to pledge my support because my father must not be allowed to carry on with whatever it is you like to show him. Um, is that something you'd like to take? Well, because food and nutrition. Food? <laughs> it's okay. Help yourself. There's food in the kitchen. A man as elevated as Ubuefiego Malaboba of Umobogiri is not the kind of man they will have to expose to the ridicule of autopsy. Because when that happens, even small nurses who are not qualified 
to see his remains, we we'll see the remains and they will make a whole mockery of him. And I wouldn't want to do that. My love, hmm? what are you doing? I want to call my brother. Why? I want to know why he's insisting that I cannot participate in our father's burial. And you think he's going to tell you? I wouldn't know. Until I speak with him. If you ask me, I would say you shouldn't call him. Your brother Eli Baagwago is so full of himself. He can go to any length to make sure you do not participate in that burial. He knows what he's doing. I need to hear from him still. Fine. You can call him. Who's that? It's your brother. Oh God, God, God. God, God, what does he want? My love, you cannot tell him to speak with him now. I don't want to speak with him. He refused to take your calls. The signs becomes obvious by the day. And I'll talk to him now. Can I not wanna instead of now for his CC? Talk to him and know what he wants now. Baby. Oh god. He's still calling. Do you know what? Hmm? Switch off that phone. Switch it off. No now. Get him out first. I don't know why he's calling me. Okay, can you call him and tell him that he is disturbing you? My love. Call, just pick the call and talk to him. Hello? Ha! Eli Baogwagun Kiz is in Omoba. My brother, my blood. I greet you. Listen, I don't have time for all these nonsense pleasantries. Can you just go straight to the point? Well, in here, I am your brother. Eh? <laughs> and you and I should be able to talk like brothers, especially at this trying moment in our family. I don't have any trying moments. Can you go straight to the point and stop wasting my time, please? Um, well, I have called to um, know why you have refused. To work with me and allow me to be part of the actual planning of our father's burial. You know what? I have a barrier to plan. And this useless question you have just asked me now is one of those questions I don't want to answer now. Don't call this number again. Get lost. What did he say? He dropped off the call. <sighs> Your brother is planning something deadly. I can feel it. I feel I should cripple him with court injunction. Listen, Flora. Don't ever take this family to court. What I have going on with my brother is a minor family problem. I will not go in to resolve it. Okay?
How are you? Good morning, Duben. Good morning. I'm here to see my brother. Ah, please, hold on. Hold on. Why? Oga is not in the good mood to see. And I ask why? They are discussing about you inside. And from the look of things, you are the last person you will want to see today. They are discussing about me inside? Yes. Who are these people? Oga, the wife, and Adobe. Do you happen to know what they are talking about? It's not what I will tell you here now. I'll come to your house later, then I'll tell you everything. It's that serious? Yes, yes. I will come and see you later. Allow me to bury my father. It's my right. Allow me to bury Papa Mommy. Him. The loyal driver of Ego Mala Abobo Mwabo Gede. And now, and now the driver of Udoka Eluwa Guago. Yeah, you're welcome. He called me to say that he sent you to me. And I believe you know why he sent me to you. You and Ezebilo rejected the money because Iche Okolo was there. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy you know. Iche Okolo is the sector of Umona and the head of disciplinary committee of Umobo Gidi. He France at bribery. That money was not bribery money. Are you serious? Yes. He gave you this money from his heart. <sighs> yes. Did he give it to you? Yes, I brought it. Yes, I brought the money. What he gave you before was 200,000. He now added 100,000 to make it 300,000. He just wants you two to be the one speaking for him. Ha, this is why I love Chief Udoka. He knows how to spend money. You know what? He's ready to add more. If only you can convince your friend to work for him. Consider it done. I will <laughs> talk to Che Ezebilo today, today. Very? I will convince him today, today. Okay, that's good. But you have not collected the money. Of course. Uh, uh, I can't forget it now. Give it to me. I will give him his own share. Okay, let me Today, put the envelope for you. Do that. Okay. I will talk to him and then give him his own share of the money. Okay. And everything will be perfected. My friend, my friend. Ah! He pays him. You should know how I do my things. Right? I don't believe in hurry. In hurry, you stumble and fall and then you make mistakes. That would come with a lot of consequences. Yes. Mistakes that would cost you even more. So I like to take my time and get things right. Is that what he told you? Uh, listen, I, I no, that's no. That was not a conversation. I made it clear to him that I cannot be in Port Harcourt at this time. I'm currently in the village, working very hard with my family members to give our father a befitting burial, so... Yes, that's what I said to him. Okay. <laughs> I'll be glad if you can do that. Oh, of course, I'll be happy to see you and the entire team. You're all invited to the burial. As long as our clients are happy and all the vessels are in good shape. What? <laughs> I'm busted, eh? <laughs> uh, that was going to be a surprise. Who told you? <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, I bought some new vessels from Japan. Very massive ones, yeah. 
the capacity should be between um, 2.6 to 3 million um, barrels. Yes. April. I'll be here in April. <laughs> uh, and then I'll call you right back. Okay? See who went shopping. I hope you got us something. Yeah. See who went shopping. No. You didn't. <laughs> Trust me, babe. You did not buy me something. Of course I did. I got you something. <laughs> you better. <laughs> <laughs> so how did it go? Very well. Okay. So tell me, how did your day go today with your brother? Um, not quite well. I didn't. Um, I didn't see him. Why? You couldn't go there again? I went there quite alright, but I, I didn't see him. Why? Is it that he didn't want to see you or what? Well, um, I got there and Ibezim advised that I do not go in. Why did he say so? Because they were having a meeting indoors about me at the time I got there. But that's not enough reason he couldn't meet you because you were there already. Well, um, Ibezim told me that um, me going in there could lead to more insults. So I saw reasons with him. I decided to take a step back. But he assured me that he would come here later to come tell me all that uh, was discussed. Okay, not bad. That's okay. It's better to avoid troubles. Always. Always. So, what did you eat? I've just been hungry waiting on you, babe. And what do you mean by that? If you could just serve yourself. You're so naughty. Always, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. You need to eat good food before. I need you. You need food. No, I need you. I mean, what could be better than you? Food. No. Have you seen you? Even you would eat you right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so much. I love you too much. <laughs> From the look of things, I think there is something you are itching to tell me. Um, you are right, Ichi Okleke. So what is it? Um, I've been itching to tell you something for sure. Udo Keliba Gwagu has done the right thing. The right thing? Yes. What did he do? He has sent some money through his driver without involving Ichi Okolo. So where is the money now? The money is with uh, Ichi and BC. Uh, but, okay, like, uh, mm. um, I need you to understand something. That money is not bribery. It is not bribe at all. It is some good money a brother gave to his brothers to help him in moving his immediate family forward peacefully. Eh? It is not bribery at all. That's there, all. There is peace already, okay, like, uh, there is peace already. Uh, only there was a little misunderstanding. Um, Okleke, let us help the Onochilobi and move this family forward peacefully. Huh? It's okay. Yes. I agree with you. Uh -huh. mm. There is mutual understanding between yes. us. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, we can go back. Mm. Uh, we can go back. Okolo. There is this room of flying around the village. I decided to keep quiet until I see you, so I can get it straight. Well, what you heard is exactly what happened. Udoka said Shidubem will not participate in the burial. Why? 
nobody knows because he did not tell us anything. Oh, in that case, I think uh, he's joking. No, it wasn't a joke. He said it with all seriousness. And I'm hearing that he's still insisting on what he said. Well, um, from my angle, I'm seeing it that he doesn't know what he's saying. Because there is no way Chidi Ben will not be in the burial ceremony of his own father. The same thing I told him. Exactly the same thing I told him. Hmm. All right. Someone a meeting of both of them. I want to talk to them. Okay. I'll do just exactly that. Hmm. I will call them on phone. I'm available. Please do so. Do so. Thank you. How are you, Shidiban? Uh, good. Uh, I just finished having a meeting with uh, Ichie Akuma. Yes, the, the moon ahead. And he has requested to see you in his house. Uh, Tomorrow, say about 10 a.m. will be will be okay. Good. Thank you very much. God bless you, my dear. Thank you. Must bury my papa. Whether you like him or not, in a banana chop, if he can. Hello? Hello? Yes, I called you earlier, but you did not pick. Uh, well, I was in the middle of a meeting when you were calling me before. That's why I didn't pick the call. But I'm good now. Uh, I guess you are done with the meeting now. Yes. Uh, Mazi Akuma demands to see you. Is he back from travel? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's back. Good. Good. <laughs> so why is he asking for me? Actually, he wants to see you eh, concerning your preparation for the barrier. Okay. When does he want to see me? He, um, tomorrow will be appropriate. Say about 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. There's no problem with that. I will see him. I will see him. I will see him. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, dear. All right, all right. Good. Is he Akuma? Is he Akuma? What will I do? I don't believe it. Hey, will you come back here? Look, are you mad? Is something wrong with you? I'm talking to you, you're walking out on me. Are you mad? What did you just do? Did you just drag my clothes? Yes, I dragged you. Are you mad? Listen, I'll only let this slide because you're my elder sister. What the next you? time you do it. The next time you do it. What will you do? What will you do? What will you what, do? What's going on here? I what asked this it? idiot a question. I demand an answer. And what is the question? I asked him what he went to Uncle Chudubem's house to do. I need an answer. Okay. If you must know, I went to his house to warn him never to come here again. You did what? Yes. I, why, why are you asking more questions? He just told you what he went there to do. I asked him another question. And I, I, I feel he has done the right thing. Because that, 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 that man, that one you call, whatever you call him, children or whatever you call him, he needs to be warned. Okay? Yes. Simple. Excuse you? He needs to be warned by who? See, in the whole situation, he has done the right thing. Exactly what I would have done myself if I had gone there. Yes. He has done the right thing. I don't even understand what's going on here. Why are you talking about Uncle Chudubem in such ill-mannered way? What's it? And then he realized that he is no longer needed here and he moved. Why is he not coming back to this house again? He's no longer... What, what, what is he looking for? 
So he needs to leave. You know, these were the same words I told him. Specifically. Mm -hmm. In fact, I added something else. I mm -hmm. told him he's no longer our uncle. Simple. I don't know why it is only me and you that reason like <laughs> our father's bloodline. This one is not understanding anything exactly what you're supposed to say. Be See, eh? I've been looking like, for like, I've been looking for an opportunity like 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 what you just did eh? to go and heap an insult on that idiot. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. As I'm talking to you, in fact, he's not going to participate in, in grandpa's burial. Never. It will never happen. Mm. Neither you nor anyone have the right to say that. No, you... Uncle Chilibam will participate in Grandpa's burial. Yes. <laughs> this one is not in your hands to say. No, she has it's it right. In the mountain. That's good. Because this one at hand is way too big for you. So shut it. Okay? Keep quiet. You know, hmm? when I keep telling you that I am doubting the blood that flows through her veins, I'm not lying. Mm. Very stupid boy. You, oh, you've forgotten the capacity of your father. You've forgotten what your father can do. Hey, look, I, I am my father's daughter. No, we have to do a DNA. I do not You're not. care what, what he's one? capable of you? or what he's not capable of doing. All I know is that Uncle Chidobem will partake in Grandpa's burial. And yes, by your orders. He will not. He will. Just shut your mouth up because I have nothing to say that. It's not a thing to say. So keep quiet. And let this thing just end here. Stop it. Fine. Fine. Let's just leave. It's okay. My friend, leave. You don't no, go and force it. Don't, don't touch me. Bam, uh, don't see. you use your mouth to talk. Don't use your hand to talk. Bam. I see you. you. Madam, I see you. If I, if I slap it. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I was taking care of something very important. But I'm here now. What is he doing here? Must you wake up every morning with this nauseating character of yours? What kind of question is that? You met me here. Oh, you see, I am not supposed to be in a meeting with this one. So I want him to leave. If anyone should leave, it will be you. Leave! You're the one who walked in here with a bad character. Leave! Okay, that is the case. I'm leaving. How dare you! If you dare walk out on me, the only self whom will conquer family, you will be the one to bury your father alone! I'm trying to control myself, to forgive you, to overlook your stupidity for intruding, for interrupting the natural and sacred process of Intunzu. And you have the mind to work out on me? Um, I didn't have time to attend to this matter yesterday. So now that I'm less busy, let's talk about it. Tell me what happened, Ella. Mommy, Eloka needs to be called to order. He needs to be cautioned. Ella, what is this? I mean, what is the meaning of this nonsense? Why can't you take my name off your mouth? What is the problem? Mommy, can you believe that Eloka went to Uncle Chitubem's house to go and warn him? He went there ready to fight, like Uncle Chitubem is an enemy. Why? I've already discussed with my son on this issue and an assurance has been made. You need to recall and understand that Chudubim has made himself an enemy to this family and therefore should be treated as one always. Once an enemy is always an enemy. Mommy, is that what you're saying? I just said the truth. Daddy is the one looking for trouble here. So I expect that you should at least call your husband to order. Shut your mouth before I shut it for you the, 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 the ugly way. Are you mad? Stupid. Ella, I am so disappointed at you. I mean, what is wrong with you? What is your problem? Why can't you 
join with your family. Support your own family and fight our enemy. Why? I don't, I don't understand. I that that will only happen where I see enemies. But in this context, there are no enemies. Because you are blind. You are so blind that you cannot see. Yeah, look, and that's an insult. I will not take it from you. I will not take it from you. Stop. Get out. He will insult you the more. And he will continue to insult you. Since you have refused to stand with your family in matters and in times like this. Because you just insulted your father, my husband. Mommy. Yes. How can I insult my father? But you did. I didn't insult daddy. I only stated the obvious. And he just stated the obvious. Exactly what Eloka did. Yes. I just stated the obvious. You are blind. Simple. So, why is there so much hatred from Gucci to Ben? Because he is an enemy to this family. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're behaving like a baby. This discussion is already dented. Initially, I was thinking we will have a very friendly discussion. But with what I'm seeing now, that purpose is defeated. Uh, no, sir. I believe we can still have the discussion. I don't think so. Well, uh, let me go straight to the point so we can return to our private businesses. Uh, I will appreciate that. Udoka. Why don't you want your brother here, Chidubem, to participate in his own father's burial? Is that what he told you? Udoka, answer my question. Don't respond to my question with a question. Don't do that. I see. They are not saying anything. Rumor has it round the village that you are insisting that he shouldn't participate in his own father's burial. Well, I, I know exactly what I said. What I said is that he should not be part of the planning of the burial. Yes. I don't want him to participate in the planning. I am still the only man of whom I and I have all it takes to bury my father. I don't need him to be there. Even in the day of burial proper, I wouldn't want to see his face in that compound. But he can go ahead because he has his own money. He can go ahead and set up canopies in his compound and entertain his guests there. Luckily for him, he has a very big compound. The person whose burial we are discussing is his own father too. Have you forgotten that? Uh, Ishio Kolo, I, I don't want to go into that. Uh, you are going to go into it. Because today I'm going to tell you exactly what I have in mind. I'm going to participate fully in the burial of my father. Take this time to tell these elders what you want me to contribute. Mm -hmm. I'm going to contribute. Yes. Even double. But you see that burial? I'll be very active. I don't want you to contribute anything. Unfortunately for you, you are not the one who caused the shot. I am still the only man who I am the one who caused the shot. And I am saying that I have all it takes to bury Obue Fiego Malabopa of Umobogini. Ah. Look at that name, Obue, sir. A dog that has developed the habit of going around stealing. We call it develop the habit of receiving beating from every angle. Be prepared to bury your father alone. That is my verdict as only you see. And no one changes it. You want to claim everything for yourself. My love. Please talk to me. Tell me what happened. How did he go? He has bribed the elders. What? How is that possible? I don't know. 
But he has actually bribed them so badly. My love, how is that possible? Earlier today, you told me the elders were on your side. So what changed? So I thought. But when I got to the meeting, I discovered that everything has already changed. Everything is changed. So what are the what are the elders saying? Useless elders. People that have already eaten bribe. What do you expect? They are insisting he must participate in the burial. Are you going to allow that to happen? Not when I'm alive, you know that. So what are, what are we going to do about it? I still don't know what I'm doing. That's why I came back. I want to relax and think. I want to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. That means you need some time alone, right? I'll let you. I'll see you later, okay? Careful. Okay, Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Careful. Okay, Shiar Koma. Even when my father was alive, Shiar Koma, you had a problem. And now that my father is no more, See, I come and you are still a problem. What do you want me to do to you? See, I come. Someone went into my room and you stole money from my briefcase. Who did that? What? How is that possible? I am telling you what happened. The person brought out my briefcase where I kept it. Opened the briefcase and stole money from me. And then abandoned the briefcase there. The idiot did not remember to put the briefcase back where it was. Who, who, who did that? How is that possible? How much was taken from your briefcase? 500,000 naira. Who could have done that? Hey. But, but, but my love, you always lock your room. How did that happen? That is the reason I have come for this meeting because I find it very disturbing. How the person gained access into my room and then made away with half a million naira. Who did that? Are you sure your money is even missing? Because your room is usually locked. So you believe that I would just come out from nowhere and say that money is missing if money is not missing? I want to know who did this. I did not take any money. I didn't, I didn't even see the briefcase. I don't know how the briefcase is. I didn't, I didn't take money. Yes. It's obviously not me. I, I can't steal such money. This is bizarre. How can someone steal from daddy? <laughs> 